It is said there's two things you can't avoid, death and taxes. Um, we certainly spent some time on the first, or on the second, on taxes, and I have some legislation to look at death, specifically death with dignity. Uh, there are cases of patients who have an incurable terminal disease that will end their life in six months or less. Some states, Oregon was a leader 18 years ago uh, with death with dignity legislation that gives patients rights to, if they wish, affect the timing of their death, to receive a prescription from a physician. This is the core of their program, and this is the core of the legislation that I'll be introducing in May. Uh, it is based on pa patient choice. It must be that patient. If your spouse has advanced Alzheimer's, you may not do this for your spouse. This is only if the patient is the one who very clearly makes this request of their doctor, there's no mental illness, and they, after a waiting period, confirm it with their doctor, they get a prescription, they need to wait further. There are many safeguards to make sure that this cannot be abused. It's patterned off a very successful program in Oregon. Successful not because of numbers, the numbers are minuscule. 0.2% of those who die in Oregon use this feature. Um, but for those who do, we want to have that choice available for them. Uh, it is also one that many people who start the process don't end with it. Those who even get the prescription, a good number of them do not use it, but they had that option. And that's where the dignity is, where you actually have some say. So we want to make this, I want to introduce this and see if Delaware is ready. We we'll see where the people of the state, where the elected officials in the state stand, and see if we're ready to implement it here in Delaware.